guys welcome back to piano from the beginning in this tutorial i'm going to talk about how to play a six four one five progression in the key of c major we know c is our one in c major f major will be our four and then g as always is our five then six will be the a minor triad okay so we are going to play a six every triad in its root position but now for easy playing we sometimes now include inversions to make it more appealing even to the listener like if I play like it makes the playing now much easier and more appealing to the ear so I'm playing the six in its first inversion so the three at the bottom, the five, and then its root is the A. It's at the upper position or the third position as we said. Now I'm playing in the left an A and another A in my left. Far left, huh? Okay. Or sometimes I can include the five with my finger to here. As I go to my four, I just change my finger two and three, switch two and three to have my chord for the F in its second inversion. So, with the left hand playing octaves F and F, you can sometimes drop that five finger two onto on its five C here. Okay, and then to chord one, so you can take it in root position here. Playing an open fifth in the left hand root and fifth, and then to the five. Okay, this is what many people could play, but we can still make it sound richer. So, but let's practice this a little so it will sound this way six, four. play the one again you can set to play octave C and C to the five okay depending on how you wish to sound so you can practice that over and over and get it smooth Four, one to the five so from the five you just everything up because you are in the five right hand is in first inversion and you move just to six in from this five you just move it up to your six so both hands move one step up six to the four Okay, but we, you can have several I mean, um, variations of the same. So I can set to play the one now, or the six in its second inversion. So now that will sound unique and with some arpeggio into it. So instead of just playing like, I can set to add the ninth. To that minor chord so now that can bring some melodic movement in my playing so I'm including some kind of improvisation to make it richer or and I'm breaking in the, my left time I'm taking the four in root position but you see I can add this I can set to play it as F 
uh, 2 or F suspended 2. Now, I can decide to play the open 5 in my left hand, open 5th, rotate 5th. Or I may decide to play it as at 9th chord. So in its third inversion of the add nine F add nine. Then I come to the one. So here I'm playing actually a C sus two. So this is a sus two chord. But with the, the root added far left and the root in the right so so from this form and then to the five in the second inversion as well I can say to add the ninth here so instead of just G major I'll play G at nine chord to make it richer Back to the one. So I, I'm playing this. If you look at the notes I've played here, C, G, C, D, E. Now this is actually derived from the C at nine triad or uh, chord. Sorry, this is a C at nine in its third inversion. So if we play the first one. The, the the one we began from to this four one to the five to the four and then one Other one, it creates variation to the one, Ooh, so what am I doing at that point, <laughs> I'm just using, passing from three to the, uh, to the six, so I'm using three as a passing but I, I use it as major. That's the E, e major, e, e major, sorry, E major into the into the A minor. Okay. However, I play so it is like E F sharp G sharp A. And then in the right hand. While I'm still holding this E, I play the G sharp together with this one and move to the A, to the B, to the C, but now play at that point the chord. So from the G and then to the Just a, re, uh, a simple leak in six. Okay, so anyway, if I'm in the five, and then finally land on our intended chord. Okay, so you can practice that. Let's meet in the next tutorial. See you.